Hello mates, welcome to another episode of my struggles of getting... So if you watched my previous episode, you probably know I make a video like this every month. I show my progression, everything I did to achieve that and so on. So now I am almost 79 kilos. Last month I was 77.5 kilos and when I started I was 71 kilos. So I gained more than 7 kilos in those 120 days. Anyways, I'm gonna show you everything I did this last month, so let's get into the video. So I started to train in a gym. I completely changed my whole training program. As you can see on Monday we have chest and biceps, Tuesday we have legs, Wednesday we have rest day, Thursday is shoulders and triceps, Friday is back and abs. And Saturday and Sunday is rest days. So let's get into the first day, that is chest and biceps day. I start my workout from inclined bench press and I am aiming for 6 to 8 reps every set. And I try to do 4 sets in total. It works our upper chest, most people are lacking at this area, so I really recommend doing it first. Also really sorry for the shitty quality, turns out my phone isn't the best camera for dim lighting. In the next video I will try to use my camera. Next up we have flat bench press, staple exercise for your overall chest development. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. So the third chest exercise was inclined chest flies, as you can see I really want to hit that upper chest, so this is one of the ways to do it. Like with all exercises I do 4 sets and this one I do 8 to 10 reps. Next we have any type of curls, in this video I did preacher curls, but I switched around every week. I did standing barbell curls, easy bar, straight bar, pretty much new kind of curl every week. Every time I did 4 sets, 6 to 8 reps. One exercise I really did like was seated inclined dumbbell curls, so I did them pretty much every week as my second bicep exercise. Third exercise for biceps was hammer grip curls, maybe more targeted towards brachialis, the small muscle on the side of your arm that makes your bicep appear bigger. And with that Monday workout is complete. Ah, the leg day. Everyone's favorite day. You serious? And of course we gonna start from the back squat. I mean there is probably no better exercise than this to build your legs. It works your glutes, your quads, your hamstrings, hands down one of the best if not the best leg exercises. I do 4 sets and I try to target the weight that I would able to do 6 to 10 reps. Next in the gym I found this machine, it's kind of like leg press but it's not. I don't really know how it's called but it really got my legs burning a lot. So yeah, I did 4 sets of this, 6 to 10 reps. Next up we have leg extensions. This exercise is isolation exercise for your quads. When I extend my legs I try to hold it a bit, so I get that better squeeze. I do 4 sets pretty much until failure. If on your last reps your face doesn't look like mine, well, you're, you're probably not doing it right. 
Holy moly. Next we have lying leg curls. Really good exercise for your hamstrings. Pay attention to the position of my feet. Your toes have to face away from you because it's the best way to take the load off your calves and isolate more of your hamstrings. For sets 6 to 10 reps. And the last exercise we have calf raises. Super set with seated calf raises. Standing calf raises works the muscles on the outside of your calf and sitting calf raises works the muscle on the inside. So you want to work them both. Anyways, that pretty much rounds up my leg day. I want to show you one of my very easy to make meals. This is gyoza dumplings with chicken, 400 grams. So you get 40 grams of protein, 80 grams of carbohydrates and almost 700 calories. So first of all you need a pan and a lid. Also we need boiled water. So turn on your kettle, turn on your stove, start warming up your pan, add some of your favorite oil and start putting in your frozen gyoza on their base. When your gyoza is sitting nice and snug in the pan, you can make the heat higher and then add your boiled water. Pour water somewhere until half of the dumpling is flooded, just like this, and then close the lid and wait until all the water is vaporized. Then you can remove the lid and enjoy your dumplings. Thursday, the shoulder and triceps day. I am starting from seated dumbbell shoulder press. It will really engage those front and side delts. You can take heavy weight on this one. Just warm up your shoulders beforehand. You don't want any injuries in your shoulders, that's for sure. I do 4 sets, 6 to 10 reps. Then I've done some lateral raises. Really, really good exercise for those side delts. Also 4 sets, 6 to 10 reps. Then I did back delts in this machine. I don't really remember how it's called though. What I do remember is my burning delts, that's for sure. Then I did traps in the smith machine. For me it worked very well. As you were able to see at the start of the video, I pretty much do 4 sets until failure. Then we have triceps and first exercise was behind the head skull crushers. Then I've done 4 sets of tricep kickbacks, 6 to 10 reps every arm. When doing this exercise, try to hold your elbow higher than your back. And then I did weighted dips. Really good exercise for that lateral and medial head of the triceps. Basically, if you want nice horseshoe triceps, you have to do this exercise. Do 4 sets pretty much until failure. So starting the back day from one of the bigger exercises and that is of course deadlifts. Oh, shit. So deadlift is an exercise that pretty much works your whole body, especially your glutes and lower back, also your traps and so on. I don't recommend doing this exercise if you are just starting out, but if you are know what you are doing, you probably know how good this exercise really is. Then I did wide grip pull downs. When doing this exercise, I personally try to touch my chest and hold a bit in that position to really squeeze my back. I've done 4 sets, 8 to 12 reps. Also, I did bent over rows, although I could lean a little bit more forward, so I kind of messed it up. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Anyways, I did 4 sets of this. Then I did narrow grip cable rows, 
also try to hold it on every rep, did 4 sets, 8 to 10 reps, and finally I did super set of ab exercises, one was in this ab machine, and second was leg raises, did 4 super sets pretty much until failure, and with that my week of training was complete. So I've been training for 120 days, and now I want to show my results. So yeah, that's my 120 day transformation, I make an update video monthly, so if you are interested in my journey and want to go through it together, subscribe to this channel, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the day 150, peace.